Hey everybody, hey everybody, hey everyone. I was gonna say everyone or everybody. Okay, so hi, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty and I just want to show you my family budget because my husband did get paid. He gets paid twice a month. So it was a little late, I think, because of the 4th of July holiday, um, but we just got paid this morning and I just wanna go over what we do. So again, I use the Budget Mom uh, workbook and I do my personal check here on one page every week that covers mostly credit card um, any credit card payments all sinking funds any you know cash envelopes extra savings etc um, so really to kind of go over this really quickly we had 409 to work with um, I'm trying to rebuild my cushion because it was at 200 and then you know, I have to use it, I guess. So I put $50 aside already. I paid one credit card bill of 29. I completely paid the Big Lots credit card of 76 off. Um, I am waiting for some extra money to come in from a side hustle that I have not received yet. I'm not very happy about that because I do want to pay off this avenue as well. So my total was 155.76. And um, then I had 253 left to work with. We did go grocery shopping this weekend. I budgeted 60. We spent 51.14. Dine out. I budgeted 60. We spent 42.43. And then another 20 for breakfast. So that was 62.43. So we are over. I'll just put a little arrow to say that we're up. Um, and then we had some ice cream, so I took that out of fun for 1208. And then gas, so far we budgeted 60, we've used 60, um, and I probably will need it again later today. So I'll put in another 30. I usually do only a few sinking funds on a monthly basis. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, on a monthly basis, I decide in the beginning of the month which sinking funds I want to concentrate on. And then I just do those. I don't go crazy in sinking funds. Um, it, it is what it is. I, I just don't want to get boggled down on saving for sinking funds when I want to pay off some credit card debt. So this month of July, I do a word of the month. I usually do that every month. So um, this month of July, the word is boom. B O O M. So for the O, it represents $15, which I did not put in this week. I'm going to make that up next week. And then the reverse IOU, um, I is just IOU, I say, because I owe it some money. So I, I was going to put $200 aside again when I got that side gig hustle money. I haven't gotten it yet. So I didn't put anything there. And then usually I do five different sinking funds with $5 each which is usually all three of our birthdays, myself, my husband, and my daughter. And then Max, which is our dog, gets five. And um, usually pool or, or just something else gets another five. So I didn't do that either because again, I, I wanted to make sure that kept, I kept money to roll over into next week so that I didn't really, I budgeted, but in the actual column is what I put when I, you know, I, I use the budget first and then when I stuff envelopes or you know pay the bill whatever then that's when I put in the actual so again I put zero then I had planned to give my husband a hundred dollars cash and myself a hundred dollars cash again because I thought I was getting that side gig I did not get it yet so that was zero as well I mean so you know the good thing is I'm not spending money that I don't have so I haven't received, I'm expecting $900 for a side hustle. And I am going to do a video on my side hustle once I get paid that. So I can just show you what I do. And, you know, I, I wanted, of course, I wanted to take an extra $100 for myself. And I can't because I didn't get that money. And I don't want the $100 to come out of our week, my weekly paycheck. So it's, it's zero. And, and that's okay. Because I will get that $900. It better be this week. Um, and, I'll, you know, I'll make up for it. So I didn't put anything at, on any of my sinking funds. And then extra debt, nothing. And then this is an automatic transfer. Extra savings was Allie. 
Right now, Ally's at 1.15% annual percentage rate. It is an online banking, so if you don't have anything in Ally, it does let you create buckets for sinking funds. If you'd rather do that online, go check them out, Ally. It's A-L-L-Y, it's a purple app on your phone. Um, and it's free to download, so, and there's no, no fees to, you know, have a checking account or a savings account, however you'd like. So that's an automatic transfer of $50. So I budget 50 and I do an automatic transfer of 50. So that was my personal check that I received on Thursday, but I actually started on Friday. So I take, in the Budget Mom workbook, I, when I first started with the Budget Mom, I actually bought the PDF. So I have that forever. I print out another page and I paste it down for my family budget on a weekly basis. I do the family budget weekly because part of my check of $250 comes into this. Um, just watching the time. I have to get my daughter up. Sorry. Comes into this account. account. This is our joint for fixed bills only. Comes in on a weekly basis. So every week I do a separate budget sheet. But because this is the week that we get paid from my, my husband's self-employment, I... I include that money with my 250. So again, um, my most important thing is to build up our cushion rollover. We were starting with zero. My checking account balance was two dollars and eighty-five cents. Again, just just we have other money, but two eighty-five was in our joint account when this paycheck budget worksheet I created for my joint fixed bills. My deposit of two hundred and fifty dollars from my check, and then from the business account. Um, we transferred, I transferred $3,300 today. So we have $35.52 to work with. And so I'm I'm push, putting my cushion right away of $100. Transferring $2,600 to the mortgage. Um, my Jeep payment is due the 18th. So that, you know, that'll go toward this for $356. And then another um, car payment of $200. It will also be included in here. I won't put it in the actual until I actually pay for it. Car insurance, we're ahead of the game on car insurance. So I just try to put a little, you know, every month. Um, I had budgeted 100, but I just put 50, which is fine. So again, I won't put in the actual column until I actually pay these bills, which will not be today because they're not due till the 18th. And then nothing on envelopes in sinking funds from the joint account. I try to take out $20 a month for um, $20 a week for the water bill. Our water bill takes comes out twice a year. The next one is in October. So I put $20 aside for that. And then car is more so for plates. Inspection stickers are coming up, etc. I put $20 in that envelope for that. The only other thing that we did was for household. We ha did have some household purchases um, this past weekend. That cost $27.86, so I put that there. And then in extra savings, I transferred $10 to another savings account. We have many accounts, so I just try to kind of, if I take from the savings account for something, I try to put it back. So really, that is it for the, you know, the fixed, fixed bills joint account. I like keeping two separate worksheets for the two separate monies and the two separate accounts that pay different things. Uh, later on today, which because I don't have time right now, I will go and update my expense trackers. As you can see, the highlight method is what I use. And I have, I separate, you know, I'll do washi tape in here just for decorative. But I have my joint expense tracker as well, the fixed bills. Again, the same highlighted method. I try to use the same colors here as I do here for my account because then it's just easy to see overall what you're spending. So that's my joint family um, budget, and I hope you enjoyed it. Just want to thank everyone who's new here for subscribing and um, getting to know a little bit about me and how I budget. I've been following the Budget Mom now for three years. It's been very successful in really changing our mindset to intentionally spend our money. That's it. That's my goal here. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, I'd love for you to comment. Please subscribe and Give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Take care.